Hello, Pestilence here. And uh, this is my small Junik or Junkunk combination padlock. And I received it in the mail yesterday from eBay. And it's the same one that Bobby Keys has. And I uh, tried to get it open and I tried to decode it, wrote down some numbers, and then I was uh, watching Bobby Key's video while he was doing his, and I was going through the numbers, wasn't paying attention. See. And it opened up. And uh, I looked and I I only had the last number because I was like I said, I had written down a couple other numbers, so that wasn't a problem, but um yeah, so it, it opened up and I wasn't wasn't expecting that while I was watching Bobby's video. So anyway, um, I uh, left a comment on his video about what I did and he got back with me and um, said that his is only actually a two, two number combination. And um, since I already had the 27, and I had written down 17, and I had also written down 7, and so I went through it, and the uh, combination was 17, 27. So there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I've got a cold or something. And along with all my other problems, uh doesn't make me a very happy person. Okay. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, I guess I'll show you, I'll give you a close-up, but if you've uh, watched Bobby's video, then you know what it looks like and everything. Um, it has uh, little arrows up on the top to show you where you need to put the combination, each uh, each number. And it's, um, let's see, patented on October 29th, 1912, Chicago... And then it says uh, Junkunk Brothers Manufacturers, or Junik, however you want to pronounce it. And it's got the knurled uh, dial, or, uh, knob on the dial. And then the dial uh, is reverse of what you would normally be used to. And the uh, lower numbers are to the left and the higher numbers are to the right. One curious thing about this is it does not have zero. The 30 would be zero. So, there you go. And it's got the back like that. And there are no holes in it for drainage. I have a larger version, which I have not been able to uh, decode, and uh, that one does not have any drainage holes on that either. Let's see. Make sure everything is in. And it's all brass. And here is the other one. Uh, uh, this one, the shackle looks like it's steel and the casing and everything uh, is at least brass color. The knurled knob has uh, a little arrow on it and as you can see there's where zero is 
and it looks like there's a little um, pyramid shaped gap but uh, there's no hole there actually there's a piece of metal underneath it must be the the uh, oh whatever you call them that you turn so anyway uh, that lines up with zero and the face is normal zero five ten and all the way up to uh, 25 here and it goes up to uh, I guess 30 26 27, 28 29 no it goes up to 29 and it also has on it patented October 29th 1912 junk unk or Junik Brothers manufacturer Chicago Illinois And it says on this one, uh, patented October 29th, 1912, others pending. So. And as you can see in the back, but there are no drainage holes. This one is really hard to turn. <clears throat> really uh, seems gunked up in there, and I've... Uh, I've oiled it, then I put it in vinegar, let it soak, uh, then I oiled it again, and it uh, still doesn't want to turn very well. So, I'm not sure that I'll ever get this one decoded. Because it's hard to tell if it's stopping on an actual number, or if, uh, you know, it's just so crudded up inside that it's doesn't want to turn. So, maybe pretty to look at, but I don't think it's going to be functional. Okay, there's the other one too. Give you an idea of how big they are. Oh. Okay, so there we go. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay legal. Bye.